What's up guys, it's your boy Indo again. Uh, my buddy Morph wanted an immediate rematch right after the last one, um, which this video is going to be reloaded right up after immediately uh, the first Cubics vs. Hero videos upload. So, go ahead and... Seriously, sir, this time he really hates Cubics, hates Cubics just because they're, like, as you saw, really annoying and powerful. And my deck's not even fully complete yet, so that kind of just adds a bit more of a burn to it on him. So... Go ahead and see how this match fares out. Uh, he did say that he ended up realizing that he could beat me with um, Anki, but he already went for that realization quick enough. And so that was on his mistake. So we're going to see how this one turns out. Hopefully not a close call like last time, because that just had me a little bit scared. Hopefully for another exciting or duel time. As soon as I get this guy, I was pretty much a game at that point, because, you know, he, he, he has to be fusion some of the Crimson Nova Dark Cubic Lords, three of them. Uh, he can be hard destroyed by one of his card effects, which is a great, so he pretty much has to uh, affect him with something like a banish, something like a contact uh, effect, kind of like Blue West Twin Burst Dragon. If Blue West Twin Burst cannot destroy a monster by battle, it will then banish that monster at the end of the damage step. And so something like that could get rid of my monster here. Um, but I don't think he really has anything to do that. And when he declares an attack, he has to punch life once immediately. And then after he destroys and punch monster, he can declare another attack, so therefore, I just basically took like three quarters of my opponent's life with just that one right there. Which is pretty great, you know? So... It, it's... Well, pretty much almost game at that point when he gets out. I'm not, I'm not really thinking you can do a whole lot to get rid of him. Uh, if you negate the normal summon, or not normal, the special summon though, that is something else that can stop him. You know, just negate the summon. Because then I'm left with my Crimson Nova's in grave as the cost to pay for summoning. Which unfortunately uh, sucks. But that's how it is. So, as long as he can't really do that, I'm alright. So I can probably in my hand early just in case. That's gonna get an ash, so he's probably gonna stop that. That's good. We're gonna have to use that way his effects and keep Karma grave. Keep Karma. Keep Karma has a good effect for Phil, but he's really here just as a search engine. Send a grave search and bring me based in my Crimson Nova, which is what I need immediately. And since I have three different cubic cards with the different names, I'm gonna be able to go ahead and stuff some of them. In Unification, you know, it acts as a Palmy, but it's mainly there, not really for the uh, effect to act as Palmy, that's why the Palmy's in here for that purpose. Uh, it's more to re uh, uh, let's see, when it's engraver, uh, like, when the cube, face a cube monster is a short battle or old, or lose the field, I can banish it from a grave, so if some level 4 level cube monster from my hand to deck, it's more in the summon condition. And if I do that, monster can't be short right by the lower card effects for that turn. That's all the purpose of it being there. Basically, kind of like just a graveyard effect, like keep it crying. Pretty much just full purpose of it. So, I mean, it, I can I can use it for the purpose of you know like trying to fusion, but like I said, why I had a plum before. Uh, don't really need it for anything else other than that. Go ahead and keep it cubic way here. Battle phase. Alright, so we're saving his life points a little bit. Unfortunately, I won't be able to deal a whole lot to him. But I will be able to deal with additional 3,000 copper or anything else due to the crypto effect. So, with that, go ahead and end. Alright, let's see. So what he's gonna do bring out
Right now, there's not a whole lot you can really do to get rid of my Crimson, my Cube, yeah, Crimson Nova. Um, I mean, you could bring it out with something that's just like an immediately trigger uh, effect, something that destroys when it's summoned. Um, unfortunately, I don't believe my Crimson Nova would be immune to that. It's only immune to. It's only effect, unaffected by other monsters' effects that are activated. So I can be still taking out with something like a Regeki or some shit. Like that. Which would be very unfortunate, but I feel like if he had something like that, he probably used it already for some kind of last school. If he got it, he, maybe he just didn't get it in last school to actually use it, who knows. Summer Monk is in this deck. Um, it can't. It is. It can be used. Um, you know, I discard a spell. Be you know, that be for you know, karma. Just karma, karma. Then use that for the searching effect, and then I can summon a level four monster from my deck, which is then activated by Dusa. Immediately summon that from the deck and send another karma to grave. That's a combo there for a two search engine immediately like that, unless it gets ashed. Uh, me, I don't. I I can use for that purpose, but I don't always. I mean, I think I more use them just for kind of as a banish fodder for my uh, the Lord of Darkness. It's also kind of why I have my Drums in here. Not only is it, Drums also in here for name purpose for help free out my current Nova, but he's also a uh, purpose for the Lord of Darkness. Just kind of just get him out. I believe this will be game at the end. My turn. I'll try to switch right foul phase. I don't want to get my kind of just like they usually love to do. Kind of like this. Uh, it's it just, I think it's, I, it's just fun. I enjoy doing this kind of thing. Kind of toy, you know, I'm pretty mean and evil, but it's alright. Unfortunately, I'll just summon that because I don't have three different kinds of cubics, but that's okay. Still go ahead and more summon on some of our monk. That great effect. Just grab that. Scarlet on me, that's all okay, that's alright. I don't do the I get his effect. Then my third karma. And with that. And get out my last crimson Noah. It's unfortunate that the palm is the only card in my hand for a spell, but that is okay because I I don't need a fusion this turn. I'm just going to go ahead and jump into the battle and finish him off. I guess I'll summon another one. Just because. Just because. A lot of things I'll do when it's obvious I have to do one is just because value. It's all just because. Which I'm thinking about maybe expanding my extra deck a little bit more. I don't really need to. Um, how I'm playing it right now. I mean, it works pretty consistently. That's just because I don't really have. Opponents really have a whole lot of hand traps to interrupt what I'm doing right now. It's him. I'm pretty sure if I was to play other duelists with other decks, like Sky Striker, Sky Striker's probably really screw my deck cover. I have no chance at all. But against my buddy here, you know, he. I noticed he doesn't really have a chance to play a whole lot of hand traps for, or interrupts for whatever reason, so. I don't really. Need to concern himself too much with trying to counter hand traps. Maybe not here now that we saw in the last video, but nothing too concerning. That didn't really. It, it put a slight yield to what I was doing. It didn't necessarily stop me, it just yielded what I did or was going to do. Starting off this turn, I'll be able to immediately summon my Crimson Nova Cubic Floor or have the Cubic Wave. I have Fusa. This is. Just great. Looks like a my should be able to get one turn OTK. Oh, I keep saying one turn OTK. OTK is one turn knockout or OTK, including the one turn in there. All right, go ahead. No more summon him out. Go ahead. Just bring another Crimson Nova to hand because I can. Alright, Ash Blossom that, so no 
second Crimson Over for me, but that is okay. That is perfectly okay. Go ahead and summon him out right now then. Get a wave, him, and that. Attack mode. Go ahead and activate the cubic wave. Activate this to draw a card so I can get something. That would just be useful. That's great, yeah. That's, yeah. So I guess I'm just going to go ahead and jump into the battle phase here. Just the OTK. Alright, that is game. Thank you all for watching the rematch of Cubics vs. Heroes. I'll see you all next time in the next video. Who knows how soon it's going to be. Uh, you all have a good night.